Good morning, Hunt Elementary teachers and students. Today is Tuesday, March 2nd, Read Across America Day. This is Mrs. Slaughter with the morning announcements, so please listen carefully. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as I say the Hunt Pledge. As I say each line, please repeat after me. I respect myself, so I will do my best by making a choice to be responsible, be respectful, and be safe at all times. Please be seated because I have a few more announcements. Our PBIS Universal Expectation by Location is teacher learn instruction during distance learning and our TK through second grade survival skill is getting the teacher's attention and our third through fifth grade surviving skill is MYOB, also known as Mind Your Own Business. Boys and girls, today is a very wonderful, exciting day because it's Read Across America Day. Um, we will have some special guests coming into your classrooms to read to you. And yesterday, we had two students caught reading, and that is Christian, who's in the third grade, and Mrs. Freeland's class, and Annalie, who is in the fifth grade, and Mrs. Hardiman's class. Today, um, is a day to celebrate reading with fun activities. So if you're doing fun activities at home around reading, take a picture because you just might see yourself in the morning announcements. Don't forget that Mike's camera action is our expectation at Hunt as well as the district. So always keep your mics on mute, your cameras on, and actively participate in every lesson. Our February challenge has gone and we will announce the winners tomorrow, but our expectation is to continue to have your mics on mute and your cameras on. Boys and girls, did you know that March is designated for Women's History Month? Every March, it is set aside by presidential proclamation the month is to honor women's contribution in American's history. And today we celebrate Sandra Day O'Connor. Sandra Day O'Connor was elected two terms in the Arizona State Senate. In 1981, Ronald Reagan nominated her to the U.S. Supreme Court. She received unanimous Senate approval and made history as the first woman justice to serve on the nation's highest court. As a member of the country's highest court, O'Connor was considered to be a moderate conservative who tended to vote in line with the Republican platform, although at times broke from its ideology. O'Connor often focused on the letter of the law and voted for what she believed best fit the intentions of the U.S. Constitution. O'Connor was a key swing vote in many important cases. In 2015, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from Barack Obama, and she retired in 2006 after serving for 24 years. It's time to celebrate the classrooms that had perfect attendance. And yesterday we forgot out of class. So I will let you know that on Friday, February 26th, that Mrs. Viegas' fifth grade class had perfect attendance. And yesterday, Monday, March 1st, we had Mrs. Axe TK class, Mrs. Thompson's kindergarten class, and Mrs. Verdusco's third grade class. Congratulations and continue to show up every single day ready to learn. Hip hip hooray, it's time to celebrate our Husky Scholar of the Day, and that is Mia, who is in the second grade in Mrs. Biddle's class. Miss Biddle writes, Mia has been turning in all her asynchronous assignments. She often shares her ideas in class and complete sentences 
Thanks, Mia, for your responsible actions. Congratulations, Mia, on being our Husky Scholar of the Day. It is time to celebrate our birthdays. And remember yesterday I said our Aries report system was down so we couldn't see who our March 1st birthdays are. So we would celebrate them today. So yesterday, March 1st, uh, it was Benjamin's birthday, who was in the fourth grade and Mrs. Mulvaney's class. Natalie, who's in the fifth grade and Mrs. Viegas' class. And Alex, who is in the third grade and Mrs. Verdusco's class. We hope you scholars had a fantastic birthday. Well, that concludes our announcements for today. We hope that you have a wonderful day of learning at the best school in the district, Jefferson Hunt.